You guys want to kind of sit down and evaluate what's next. I guess, is there any value you can take from this game kind of showing you and the staff how far, how much further you guys need to go to kind of really become a championship program? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that's that's the good thing about, I think, our program and, and really our coaching staff. And, you know, the world will look in the mirror. It's kind of what I told our players afterwards. We've got to look in the mirror, and it all starts with me and then works, works down from there. And, you know, the thing that we did, we had a formula that worked, uh, you know, where we played pretty well for 14 straight weeks, you know, and uh, we, we carried the same formula into this game. We didn't do anything different. There was no, there was no preparation that was any different. There was no, um, I didn't have any sense that our players were in a different place. You know, their preparation was good. There was zero difference between, um, you know, preparation for this game than there was for the Michigan game, you know, 10 days ago or nine days ago, whatever that was. And so, you know, I, I think what happens sometimes is you, you know, you get on a run like we've been on, you play a lot of games like we played this year that are emotional games and games that you put, put everything you have into it to win it. Uh, you did it nine days ago against the again, a Michigan team where we had to you know, had to hold on and fight and scratch for every inch uh, against a very good football team, found a way to win and get out there tonight and, you know, George did a great job, got off to a fast start. And we answered, cut it to 10 to seven and then for whatever reason, it went downhill from there. And so we'll sit down as a staff Again, trying to figure out what happened tomorrow, you know, and, and uh, make sure it doesn't happen again and learn from it. And I think that's the, the best thing that, that happens when you face adversity like this. You make mistakes and you learn from them and you get better as a program, you get better as a coach, you get better as players, and, and the next time you handle the situation a little bit better. But our preparation was really good. You know, I thought we had, you know, two of the better practices we were in full pads that we had had all year. And to be able to have those, and it was week 22 for us, I believe, to, to, uh, for the players to practice like they did 22 weeks into the season. It's a real credit to those guys. And again, I don't know what happened tonight. We ran into a really good team, and we did some very uncharacteristic things, and it snowballed on us. And that hasn't happened to us one time this year, that we had to be able to find our way back and, and figure out a way to, to get back in the game or win the game. Weren't able to do it tonight, so we'll self-evaluate, make corrections, and go from there. Go all the way down here in the very front. Jimmy Plunkett, Frogs today, Coach. You mentioned that this thing is going to last for a little while, and that you're going to get back to work evaluating on this tomorrow. But when you think about how you carry a season like this into the future for this program, what's the next? month or so look like for you as you uh, put a plan together to do that yeah yeah look our guys have been going you know we've been practicing pretty much since uh, the end of July you know and, and we have a bunch of young people that are 18 to 22 years old uh, that have really poured everything they have into it you know, they've been home one weekend since uh, the football season started you know to see their family um, so these guys have paid a lot into to this run and to having this kind of success. They've given everything they have, made a ton of sacrifices. You know, we start school here pretty quickly. So, you know, we've got a good plan on how to, to give our guys some rest. We have a, a significant group of newcomers that, that start school uh, that actually report tomorrow, believe it or not. We show up on our campus and go through orientation and start moving in the dorms tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, no rest for the weary. You know, we'll get back, we'll uh, start, you know, helping those players get settled and, and they'll start week, uh, start school a week from Tuesday and, and here we go. Uh, so, you know, we've got to give these guys a little bit of a break. It'll be a little bit different schedule maybe than it normally is because of that. You know, we'll wrap up recruiting. We still have, uh, you know, three or four recruits that we're, we're chasing and, and hopefully uh, get those guys on board and, just continue to build and then learn from tonight. Again, make sure that doesn't happen again. Go back down here in the front, right in the very front. 
Coach Derek Lotto with LaFrogs.com. Can you just describe what this entire run has done for our city of Fort Worth and the university in general? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's one of the things that's most disappointing. I mean, look, you hate it for your players, you hate it for your fans that traveled all the way to L.A., you know, I mean, they really invested in our program. I know it's, I know flights were expensive, I know tickets were expensive, I know all of it was hard to do, and, and our fans answer the call every single time we ask them to do something, they've done it, and, uh, you know, we're all very appreciative, we're disappointed for them, we feel like we let them down uh, with our performance tonight. Um, you know, we certainly wouldn't be where we are without them, and, and wish we would have, uh, you know, represented TCU and the football program better tonight than we did. Uh, but again, we're proud of proud of what we've done. Proud of them. Appreciate their support of us. It's been a it's been a fun year. It's been a long year. Um, you know, I think I think all of us probably need to try to catch our breath uh, tomorrow and and uh, you know get back to the grindstone here pretty quickly. I'm gonna take two last questions. I've got Ivan back here, and then we'll come to the front. Some of you use the word uncharacteristic just what it's at the top of that list that y'all did that was yeah yeah you know it's interesting i mean mean, we you know you look at early in the game and we really you know protected the quarterback well when we dropped back to throw um yeah it got worse as the game went along and our, our threat of running the football consistently went away um, but, you know, we felt pretty good after a series or two that we could drop back and throw the ball and, and, you know, we could create some things offensively. We felt like that we could also run the ball. We just dug such a big hole for ourselves. We never could quite get them stopped defensively. We never could get out of our own way on offense. You know, first play of the game for us was a false start. We probably have had three false starts all year. You know what I mean? And, and probably over a thousand plays, maybe had three false starts, first start, first play of the game, we have a false start tonight. So, you know, just things like that. You know, that's just not who we are. We're not that kind of football team. If we make those mistakes, we're, we're, we're not gonna win football games. We're certainly not gonna be playing for a national championship, uh, making those kind of mistakes. And, you know, I thought we uh, we had some busts defensively, uh, some alignment busts, some assignment busts. We cut some receivers loose. Again, that's not been something that we've done. Um, you know, I think in some ways our guys, you know, we got in the locker room a little bit before the game. You can sense some tension in the room, you know, and we've got to try to to um, to not have that. You know, we haven't had that in the past. We've been pretty loose, and the guys were really excited to play, really fired up to play. Thought we were probably just a little too fired up, maybe a little too emotional, and as a result, you know, did some things that we don't normally do. I just don't think we were in the state of mind that we needed to be in, and we've got to do a better job trying to get our players there, and, and uh, uh, obviously failed in that regard, and again, we'll learn from this mistake and, and hopefully address it, make sure it doesn't happen again. Last question right here in the middle, second row. Uh, Chris from the New York Times, did you, did you feel like, well, earlier you said, you talked about preparation, and how the things were working for 14 weeks. Did you feel like, I'm not sure if you were saying this, but did you feel like you, you should have altered from that for this game? And I, You know, I don't know. I, I think it worked for us in the past. You know what I mean? And, and did you have a second part to that question? If you did, I'd need to catch off. But, I, but I, let me just say this. I, I, I felt like that you know, we had had success. We had played probably close to our capabilities you know, throughout the run that we went on uh, this year. And, uh, and you know, um, we didn't want to change that. We felt like it had kind of got us to this point as a program, but we didn't really want to change it. We were comfortable with that with that preparation style. Go, go ahead and finish. Yeah, I was going to say, do you feel like this loss taught you anything about what you need to do as a coach to? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, certainly. I mean, we're certainly sit down as a staff and you know watch the film, talk about, go through every single call we made in the game, and you know, and say, okay, look. Why, why did this work? What, why did, where did this go wrong? What could we have done better? Um, you know, and, and talk to our, talk about preparation. Talk to some of our players, get some feedback from those guys about how they felt coming into the game. Felt like there was too much of the game plan, not enough of the game plan. You know, just all those things. I know leading up to today, I know our guys felt very comfortable about the preparation. Felt like it was um, as good as we had had 
as I said, the practices were very good. Uh, felt like the game plan was good coming in, and you know, clearly it wasn't what it needed to be. Clearly, we didn't execute it the way we, we wanted to. Coach.